What's going on guys, it's your boy Gio from Hair GC back at it again with another video. And this time though, I'm going to be asking the question, how does Minoxida work for your hair loss or does it even work at all? Let's get into it. So minoxidil is one of the most popular medications for baldness and also beard growth. But anyways, there are many variations from different manufacturers with various additional substances to increase efficiency. So if you click this video, you must be asking yourself, what exactly is minoxidil? Minoxidil is a non-hormonal medication that stimulates new hair growth. It doesn't affect DHT, which is the hormone that is the direct cause of baldness enemy number one for men and women alike. The mechanism by which minoxidil promotes hair growth is not quite fully understood. Minoxidil is a potassium channel opener, causing hyperpopularization of cell membranes. Theoretically, by widening blood vessels and opening up potassium channels, it allows more oxygen, blood, and nutrients to the hair follicles. It's essentially a hair growth stimulator, probably the best in its field among non-hormonal medications. But since it's not a hormonal medication, people usually use minoxidil in combination with finasteride, which reduces the concentration of DHT in the hair follicle in order to ensure higher results. The quality of minoxidil depends on the brand. Obviously, there are a lot of manufacturers of minoxidil, big brand names, and so on, but what I can tell you is that they're all pretty much the same in terms of effectiveness, and pretty much all contain the same key ingredients. So how to use minoxidil? Use the medication on the bald areas of your scalp or where your hair loss is not as dense, twice a day, one milliliter in the morning and evening using the pipette that comes with the kit. After massaging it gently into your scalp, let the medication soak in for at least four hours. After that point, you can wash your hair. So how much do you use exactly? Despite recommendations from manufacturers, one usage at night is enough if you are in the initial stage of baldness. However, if there is no noticeable effect, up the amount to twice a day. A two-time application is preferable and optimal if you see no results within a two-month time span. Another very important factor to note is hair length. Let's say if I were to be applying minoxidil to my hair, the medicine would have a hell of a lot more surface area to cover, and the majority of it would be soaked up in the hair rather than my scalp. A shorter haircut would be optimal if you're thinking about using this medication. So minoxidil usually comes in two forms, a foam and a solution. There is absolutely no difference though in the efficiency, but the foam dries faster, but at the same time it has a higher price tag. And probably the question you're all asking is how long does minoxidil last when it comes to hair restoration? As unfortunate as it may seem, my friends, no medication, even minoxidil, can fixate the result. If you stop using it, the chances are very high that all the grown hair will begin to return to its previous state or will fall out within a few months. Hair starts to fall out again and degrade due to the suspension of the growth-promoting effect that minoxidil exerts on the hair follicles. This does not apply to minoxidil for your beard, though, so if you want, you could check out that video right here. As for side effects, they aren't common. However, in some extreme cases, people have reported itching, dandruff, low blood pressure, face swelling, heart palpitations, and dizziness. However, though, these, as I said before, are very uncommon. These don't just happen to everyone, guys. In each case, the reaction is individual, and in most cases, this is due to using a higher dosage or using it more frequently than the recommended amount. In any case, if you have heart issues, you should consult a medical professional prior to using this medication. A lot of people panic after they notice an increase in hair loss after they started using minoxidil for hair loss. This is a normal reaction though, after a few months the hair should grow back. A simple explanation to this is that the weak hair falls out and healthier ones replace them. And this is about all the information I have for you today. For more information and a breakdown of which brands are best for you, 
visit our website hairgc.com or click the first link in the description box down below. And that is it for today's video guys. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let us know if you have tried or are thinking about trying minoxidil for your hair loss in the comments down below. My name is Gio from Hair GC and I'll see you soon.